Um, it's kind of related to, I'm doing a feature story probably in the coming days about Kenny. And just just share your thoughts. I know he's been able, he's been sitting out, uh, just kind of getting back in the swing of things this week in camp. But, you know, just overall, what does he mean to this team and his contributions over the last five years plus uh, Pittsburgh? I mean, for me personally, like, mm -hmm. uh, he's a great friend. He's become um, really just like one of my favorite people. <laughs> mm -hmm. And... Um, you know, I, I had my wedding in December, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it was just, um, I think it was a testament to the way that he's been a mentor mm -hmm. um, and just a great leader and teammate over the last uh, few years uh, for me personally. Mm -hmm. And then obviously to the club, like somebody who's been around um, for five, six years now, who has been with Bob for even longer, mm -hmm. um, just understands the way things work. That's such an important element um, to the team. Um, you know, he's not a guy that's like, always the most vocal, but mm -hmm. he certainly does lead by example when he shows up in big moments. And um, I really can't say enough about him, like right. as a person, what he means to me. Like I, I love mm -hmm. the guy. And just in terms of uh, on the field, when you're sometimes. I was interviewing um, Mark the other day about it, and he said something like, sometimes it's, he doesn't say a lot, but it's just that look, things like that. I mean, what makes him such a good leader on when you're out there playing? Yeah, I think there's an understanding, and when he does mm -hmm. say things, like, they have meaning because he picks mm -hmm. his moments. Um, mm -hmm. But he's one of those people that you would talk about as, like, just having a presence on the field. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, when you come into train, training with him the first time, like I did as a rookie, like... Mm -hmm. You're not necessarily sold right away, but then you see like his quality come through time and time again, and mm -hmm. um, he obviously understands the system so well, and he's mm -hmm. always in the right spot. So, um, yeah, I mean, so far we've missed him, but I think he'll be back pretty soon. So mm -hmm. um, he'll be a guy that we'll, we'll obviously lean on once again for mm -hmm. most of the season. So, and it seems like he was taking a leadership role, even though he wasn't getting out on the pitch the first few games, weeks, and just almost like a. A third coach for the yeah, that, I mean, that's kind of coach. you know that's kind of where I think he's headed, and mm -hmm. um, that's good for the group. And mm -hmm. obviously, he's a guy that he just has the rapport with both sides of the coach um, coach player relationship. That like mm -hmm. it would be seamless for him. I think everyone respects his position, and um, it's going to be a really good good place for him. So, and then the last question is about understanding his understanding this long relationship he's had with Coach Lilly. How important is that? Are you and do you sort of feel like you're one of the guys that's going to carry that mantle further? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I think it, that's kind of the relationship that you can create with Bob mm -hmm. um, over time. And like, obviously, I think when when it's year one for you, um, mm -hmm. it can be a little bit of a shock. But like, I have nothing but um, respect and um, gratitude for what he's done for my career. And mm -hmm. I think like Kenny is in a similar position like he knows um, how much he's grown and what he's provided him and um so i think that's that's you know that's why the relationship has flourished that way and mm -hmm. i think you know um with me coming back to pittsburgh last year i think that's mm -hmm. exactly why because i knew that bob mm -hmm. had um done so much for my career up to that point and like i want to repay repay him for that in some ways but mm -hmm. also for the club as well so yeah all right Bobby. thanks for your time